eight most iconic guns used in World War I. Conflicts have long been a driving force for innovating new technologies, and World War I serves to illustrate the example of this. Before World War I, conflicts followed similar patterns, with much established technology being utilised in the battlefield. However, this Great War saw the emergence of innovative weapons and battlefield tactics due to the efforts of teams of engineers and scientists trying to gain an advantage over the enemy. The conflict initiated new weapons of mass destruction, such as chemical warfare, grenades and fighter planes. But today, we're going to overlook those array of weapons and put our focus on the most used during their notorious global warfare, guns. Hello everyone, this is Joe from Line45. And in this video, I've listed some of the most popular firearms used by infantrymen during World War I. Before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it's a chore, but these simple clicks help my channel immensely. Now, let's return to the video. Browning M1917 Though the Germans had pulled ahead in terms of 18th century warfare with the MG08 machine gun, the US was somewhat sluggish to catch up. It wasn't until 1917 that the Browning M1917 came to fruition, later reaching frontline troops by 1918. This water-cooled device was positioned heavily and usually installed on vehicular platforms for its immense size and weight amounting to around 100 pounds with its accompanying tripod, cartridge belt and water container. Moreover, though less hefty than its German counterpart, it still couldn't operate as swiftly. It could fire 450 bullets a minute compared to the MG's 08600. To reduce any additional task burdens in areas of light infantry operations, such as transportation locations, an alternate firearm known as the M1919 Browning machine gun saw use instead of employing heavy weaponry like the M1917's form factor dictated. Maschinengewehr 08 The Maschinengewehr 08, or MG08, was the standard machine gun for the German side of World War I. It was constructed like many other firearms of that era based on an 1884 Maxim gun design and capable of producing 450 to 600 rounds per minute with a lock assembly. This particular weapon was also weighty, incorporating a wooden buttstock that made it bulky compared to those used by Allied forces. All in all, the MG08 weighed 140 pounds when together with its water and tripod components. It's evident why this heavy-duty armament system proved so successful at the Battle of Somme, where 21,000 British casualties in one day were attributed to this machine gun. Unsurprisingly, Germans looked upon it with a prized possession during World War I. Additionally, they continued to rely on it during World War II as well. Such remarkable firepower makes you wonder if more advanced versions exist today, and what benefits could such modern weaponry bring about. Gewehr 98 the German army had great faith in the quality of Mauser's engineering in their main service rifle, the Gewehr 98. It boasted a unique controlled feed system, blending together various bolt-action designs to create an easy yet dependable solution. With its impressive accuracy and range, it set itself apart from competitors like the Lee Enfield or the M1903 Springfield. Unfortunately though, this classic design was expensive to produce, leaving Germans at a disadvantage with the rate of fire as well as struggling to tackle spaces where length was a concern, especially in trenches and other tight areas. In recognition of this issue, the Carabiner 98 replaced it in 1935, lauding many similar features but also cutting down on weight for better portability and burstiness that some operations necessitate. The alteration proved worthwhile though, since the Gewehr 98 will forever be remembered as one of the excellent achievements of early bolt-action era firearms engineering. Short Magazine Lee Enfield Mark III American soldiers were equipped with the M1903 Springfield, while British Commonwealth troops relied on the Lee Enfield's SMLE Mark III. Initially adopted in 1895, this version of the SMLE was released to troops in 1907 and offered several advantages compared to its competitor. 
One major advantage of the short magazine Lee Enfield Mark III was that it had a shorter barrel compared to the M1903 Springfield, making it easier for soldiers to utilize in tight quarters, such as trenches during combat. The short barrel design also allowed armies across Great Britain and their colonies to have longer line formations, extending farther than American rifle formations due to the longer reach of a short barrel firearm. In addition, this weapons magazine could hold up to 10 rounds at once and shoot them off relatively quickly, firing up to 20 to 30 rounds per minute at effective ranges of 500 meters and maximum ranges of 2,700 meters. With training that went beyond normal military tactics into rapid firing methods, enemy forces believed these weapons were being fired from semi-automatic rifles instead. Moisin Nagan Model 1891 the Moisin Nagant rifle was one of the most reliable and durable battle rifles in history. Produced from 1891 to 1965, approximately 37 million units were made, a testament to its enduring popularity. During World War I, however, production could barely keep up with demand by the Russian Empire on the Eastern Front. This caused shortage issues that prompted prompt intervention from Remington and New England Westinghouse Company for 1.5 million and 1.8 million rifles respectively. Nevertheless, this didn't solve the supply crisis as production came to an abrupt halt after Vladimir Lenin cancelled payments following the Bolshevik Revolution of 1917, leaving Remington only able to finish 750,000 rifles, of which 470,000 had already been delivered. Moisin Nagant are still popular today, being highly accessible due to their mass production, leading them to be much cheaper than other military surplus guns out there with no little threat of them running out soon. Something true for the uncommon American-made variant too. Collectors recognize this variation as it's brimming with sought-after rarity. Thus, it's not surprising why the rocks such high prices despite availability constraints amongst those who aren't wealthy enough for collections based on exclusivity yet would want some good old guns. M1903 Springfield the US military adopted the M1903 Springfield rifle in 1903, a full decade before World War I. This adoption was driven by some disappointing results from the Spanish-American War, where Spanish troops carried the Mauser Model 1893s. Promptly performing an examination of these Mausers, the Americans designed a short-barreled bolt action that shot 30 0.6 rounds with an effective range of up to 900 meters, eventually resulting in what I know as the M1903. On top of this incredible standard set for a rifle at the time, they went even further and made improvements, such as introducing the Mark I to be compatible with the Peterson device, allowing it to switch between semi-automatic fire and manual reloading, allowing 10 to 15 shots per minute with an increased max range of 5,000 meters. Decades later, near World War II, the M1 Garand became available. Even though Britain had stopped using them four years prior, they still continued to be used, especially as fantastic sniper rifles all throughout World War II, the Korean Wars, and the early stages of the Vietnam War, until they were phased out over time, marking its long infamous legacy. Luger Pistol The Luger Pistol, also known as the Pistol Parabellum, has become a symbol of the 20th century German military might. It first appeared in 1898 and enjoyed enormous success. Indeed, the Swiss military adopted it before Germany did. The iconic gun is widely recognized for its regular appearances in movies and TV series set during World War II. Although production of this powerful weapon stopped many years ago, the 9mm caliber round, also named after the pistol, continues to reign supreme on the market as both 9mm Luger and 9mm Parabellum. When looking at iconic guns from history's darkest episodes, one can't overlook the Luger pistol an embodiment of aggression that elicits fear and respect alike. From its initial conception in 1898 to its prominence on screen today, there's no denying this gun's legacy or staying power. Over a century later, we're still gifted with lasting reminders of its potential through cartridges such as a 9mm Luger and 9mm Parabellum. Truly an unrivaled store war that has cemented itself as part of history's echelon for all time coming. Colt M1911 For well over a century now, the iconic Colt M1911 pistol has been one of the most favoured weapons among firearm enthusiasts. However, its long life journey has the fame to begin with World War I and its introduction to the US forces. 
Before America entered into combat, the M1911 had already proven itself among other nations such as the Russian Empire, France, and the British Empire and Commonwealth. The incredible performance that this gun displayed created an enormous demand for it in more than all of the countries involved in World War I, thus necessitating American arms manufacturers contracting out a huge order after their own trainings entered into the war. Not only just for military personnel, but even civilians today adore it for its unparalleled accuracy while shooting or on either side of single or multiple targets, which makes it one of history's best-selling handguns. In short, there's no doubt that these little beauties are still valid examples of dependable guns. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe.